This week, we are focusing on common misspelled words and challenging vocabularies to help students improve their reading and writing skills. Word number one is dominant. The adjective dominant means having power over others. It's another word for controlling. For example, my grandfather is a dominant person and everyone in the family has to listen to him. Also, most people use their dominant right hand to do all activities. Don't forget the letter I in dominant. Word number two is impression. An impression is an idea or feeling of something or someone. For example, the well-mannered boy gave the teacher a fantastic impression on his first day at school. Do not pronounce this word as I'm pression. Word number three is enormous. Another word for enormous is big. For example, you can find an enormous Cinderella castle in Disneyland. Do not spell enormous as E-N-O-R-M-O-U-S-E. A mouse is not enormous, so the word does not end with the letter E. Word number four is mood. A person's mood is their feeling. For example, angry bird is always in a bad mood when he sees people. The word mood rhymes with food. Word number five is vacation. Another word for vacation is holiday. For example, the summer vacation in Australia for students is about six weeks. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. V-K-Shin. Word number six is adorable. Another word for adorable is cute or lovable. For example, the baby is so adorable that everyone wants to squeeze her cheeks. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. A do r -bu. Word number seven is beautiful. Another word for beautiful is pretty or attractive. For example, New Zealand has some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. Don't forget the letter I in beautiful. Word number eight is aroma. An aroma is a good smell. For example, a pleasant aroma rose from Stephanie's kitchen when she was baking a cake. Word number nine is restaurant. A restaurant is a place where people sit and eat meals that are cooked by their own chefs. For example, the restaurants next to the beach served seafood and had a beautiful oceanfront view of the harbour. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Rest or runt. Word number 10 is enticing. Another word for enticing is tempting. For example, the chocolate mud cake was extremely enticing, convincing all the guests to eat a slice. Do not spell enticing as E-N-T-I-S-I-N-G. There is no letter S. Word number 11 is linger. When you linger in a place, it means you wish to stay longer. For example, you can find lots of high school students linger around the train station to talk to their friends after school. 
do not pronounce this word as linja. Word number 12 is parry. When you parry something, it means you're attacking, normally with a weapon. For example, Harry, the boxer, put up his fists to parry his opponent's punch. The word parry rhymes with the name Harry. Word number 13 is munching. Another word for munching is eating. For example, Homer Simpson couldn't stop munching on his delicious donuts during his work time. The word munching rhymes with crunching. Word number 14 is exuberant. The adjective exuberant means full of energy and excitement. It's another word for excited. For example, the exuberant audience applauded and cheered when the performance was over. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Ex-u-b-r-n. Word number 15 is seagulls. A seagull is a type of bird normally found around the beach and ocean. For example, we sat on the beach and were surrounded by many seagulls. Don't forget the double L in seagulls. Word number 16 is vivid. The adjective vivid means clear and colourful. It also means bright and beautiful. For example, many people visit Vivid Sydney every year to watch the light and music show. Word number 17 is ascending. The adjective ascending means increasing in size or smallest to largest. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is the ascending order of the numbers. Don't forget the letter C in ascending. Word number 18 is descending. The adjective descending means decreasing in size or largest to smallest. For example, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 is the descending order of the numbers. Don't forget the letter C in descending. Word number 19 is census. The word census normally relate to sight, smell, hearing, taste and touch. For example, humans normally have five senses which they rely on every day. Keep in mind there are three S's in the word census. There's no letter C. Word number 20 is expletive. An expletive is a term used when swearing. For example, some parents would wash their children's mouth with soap if they said an expletive. Word number 21 is sentences. A sentence is a set of words that is complete in itself. There are simple, compound and complex sentences in writing. At Stephanie Coaching, students are asked to write their weekly sentences as part of their vocabulary homework. Word number 22 is gorilla. A gorilla is a powerfully built great ape found in the forests of Central Africa. For example, we saw a gorilla carrying her baby in the zoo. Don't forget the double L in gorilla. Word number 23 is gigantic. 
Another word for gigantic is enormous. It means very big. For example, the gigantic elephant is the largest land animal on Earth. Do not spell gigantic as J I G A N T I C. There is no letter J. Word number twenty-nine is describe. When you describe something, it means you use sensory language. For example, instead of saying the forest is peaceful, you can describe the forest by saying the beauty of the forest comforted our hearts. Don't forget the letter E at the end of the word. Word number twenty-five. Is geography. Geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environments. There are five main themes of geography: location, place, human environment interaction, movement, and region. Word number twenty-six is muscular. When a person Has a lot of muscles. You can describe them as muscular. For example, weightlifters are muscular sportsmen who can lift heavy loads which normal people cannot. Word number twenty-seven is clamor. The verb clamor means to yell. For example, the angry customers begin to clamor. For a refund of their purchase. Word number twenty-eight is puffed. The word puffed means out of breath. For example, the little pig puffed and panted while trying to run away from the big bad wolf. Another meaning for the word puffed is swollen. For example, because I haven't slept for days. I now have puffed eyelids. In this context, the word "puffed" is an adjective. Word number twenty-nine is "clogged." The verb "clogged" means blocked. For example, the gutters were clogged up with leaves and dirt. The word "clogged" has double G. Word number thirty is acidulous. The adjective acidulous means sour. For example, the lemon tea is acidulous and bitter because I squeezed too much lemon juice. This brings to the end of our spelling list one. Keep practicing, and good luck in your spelling test.